going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Can you give me like two minutes? Jerry, tell him two minutes is all I need. I need it just for an intro. And then you guys can squeal all you want. All right, well, we'll go ahead and feed them. But welcome back to another episode. Obviously, you guys already know the drill. We got to take care of the herd. Carol, how you doing then, buddy? Carol, you need some food, buddy? How you doing? How you doing, Turkey? How you doing, Rick? How's it going, buddy? Yep, Drake and Josh. Hi, Carlos, what up? Come on, Ralph. Come on, come on, come on, Jerry. Come on, everybody wants to say hello. Everybody wants to say hello. How you doing, big? Oh, hey, oh, what dang. What that mouth do, Ralph? You relax there, buddy. How's it going, llama, steep? Why do we have so many animals? There's a lot going on here. Why is there so many animals? And then we have Car them. Karen over there. We got ducks, turkeys. Look at this. Anyways, let's get these guys fed. All right, come on, come on, come on. How are you supposed to feed them when they do this? I don't understand. There you go, just a little bit. Really? Come on, right here. A little bit over here. Tiffany. Why does that donkey sound <laughs> like that? All right, over here. Hey, hey, hey! Oh my Easy. God. Did he, he jump took you? Flight. <laughs> he took flight. Llama, give me a second. Back up, llama. Hey, hey, llama, llama, no! Why are animals attacking us today? Dude, they are vicious. Llama's trying to freaking square up. Over here, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Cheese and rice, boys. There you go. Woo! All right. Well, we got one grain bin empty. Probably should give a few more scoops. Hey, here you go. Tiffany, you want some grain, buddy? Steve! Steve, you want some grain? Here you go. Right here. Caring's caring, Steve. Ralphie. Ralphie, you got it. Hey, actually, there's pro is there some Scooby snacks for Ralph? Ralphie! I got a Scooby snack, Ralphie. You want a Scooby snack? Ralphie. What's this? Ralphie. Carlos can have a alfalfa. Yeah. Hey, Carlos. Scooby snack, Carlos. Carlos. He's never, I've never given him a treat before. Hey, no. Hey, oh, now you got it. You, hey, you better chew that up before you get some more grain. Does he guy. even know he has it in his mouth? That's what she said. That was a good one. Does she say that a lot or what? <laughs> no, bet to banjo. Uh. You like that Scooby snack? You love Scooby snacks. You like grain all of a sudden more than Scooby snacks? You want another? I'll give you a little, little potato chip. No, he, want, he must like the grain more. I wish all all the animals can't have alfalfa, they'll blow, especially like the male goats and stuff like that. Otherwise, I'd give them all Scooby snacks, but I don't know. Like, I think the horses and the donkeys are okay with it. Goats get kind of iffy, especially the male goats, which is pretty much what we have. Not sure on llama. Carol probably could, but Carol also bloats fairly easy, so I wouldn't be too certain, but... Hey. 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 He don't want. It. I don't know what is it. You think Chungus can? Chungus? Chungus would have know. alfalfa. I don't know. If, I don't know if he, he could eat this. It's just. I mean, it's just grass that's squished into a cube. Let's see if. Let's see if Chungus wants. It. Chungus, wake up, Chungus. Hey, how you doing, Chungi? Hey, you want one? Hey, what's that guy? Hey, you got. Hang on. You got poop in your bowl. That's not good for nobody. How do you do that? Hey, quit. Quit duking in the in the bowl. Hey, there you go. Scooby snack. What do you think about that guy? Oh, he don't like it. Chungus. He says, he says, where the hell's a grain guy? That ain't grain. Maybe they do like the grain more. Don't worry, Chungus. I'll get you some grain, buddy. Yeah, oh, this is what Chung... Hey, 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 hey. That's what Chungus... See? That's a happy Chungus right there. Chungus, everybody misses you, buddy. I miss picking you up and petting you. Oh, look at you. so nice today. How you doing, bud? You being good, Chungus? You enjoying that grain, buddy? Let me fill I'll top off your water, too, just to make sure you stay hydrated, Chungus. We don't need a dehydrated Chungus. Chungus, you want some water, buddy? Oh, you got... Chung oh, Chungus... All right, hang on. There, we'll clean out your bowl. There you go. Fresh water, Chungus. This is for you, my guy. Llama. You think, I bet Llama could have a Scooby snack. Hey, why would you do that? She took it. She didn't. She got pissed. Look at her. It's, it's, a, it's a potato chip, Llama. She says, I don't know anything but grain, guy. <laughs> oh, now you want it. Good boy, Ralph. Jerry, you, you're one of the few animals I know for sure cannot have. And do I'm they sorry. make goat treats? They do, yeah. We should get, we some. Should get some for Jerry. Yeah. Jerry, I'm sorry. Llama, how was it? I don't have any more. Did you like that? I'll have to make sure that you can have it. Dale, you can't have it, buddy. This guy can. How's that going? 
Hey, you be nice. Anyways, animals are fat as you guys can see. There's a billion of them. Freaking so many animals. We're thinking about getting some more. I don't know why. We probably should sell some. But um, anyways, today's agenda, actually, we're, we're starting off feeding the animals, but we're going to head down to the farm. Today's objective, beaver trapping. We got to catch that beaver, okay? We've got the beaver dam. They made a pond. We shot ducks. Well, now it's kind of frozen, so duck season's pretty much over. We're not going out there anymore, so now it's time to trap the beavers. Once we trap the beavers, you blow up the beaver dam or take an excavator in there and rip it out. One of the two options, but first, you got to trap them. So, we're going actually out with Trapper J. He's uh, another YouTuber who does like trapping videos and stuff like that, and he lives fairly close. So, he's going to go out there. He's trapped. I'll we'll have to ask when we get there. He's probably trapped 20 beavers already this year. He's trapped like a bunch of coyotes and bobcats and muskrats. He's like a trap god, okay? So, he's going to take us out. We're going to take him to our spot, but he's going to kind of show us the ropes a little bit. I mean, I've trapped beavers before, but bringing him is going to ensure that we get the beavers down on the ground. So, with that being said, we're going to head out, go grab some lunch, head out, and set some beaver traps. And hopefully, we catch a beaver because I love eating beaver, okay? It tastes delicious. Beaver catch clean cook. Hopefully, coming in hot, you guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right. <laughs> Ready to trap some beavers. Gonna take a gander. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh yeah. Trapper Jay's out here. He's here to teach us how to trap these freaking beavers. This has been a three year long war. And today it's coming to an end. We're gonna wipe them out and then tear out their dam. And hopefully that's the end of the beavers. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You like beaver? Uh, sure. You never had never it, had huh? Never had it, no. Really? You look, you look like that kind of guy too. What, to never have or to eat it? Both. What do you think? You think we're gonna get one out here? Yeah, we should. I would think so. I, I feel pretty good about this. I mean, we're with how many beavers you trapped this year so three, far? Four now. Jesus, we suck. I think I've trapped three <laughs> in my we whole suck. life. Thirty-four this year, and it's only been like we, two weeks of trapping. It's not ideal conditions, but we can work with it. We can work with it because the ice, right? The ice isn't great, but this ice—it's not too thick. Sun's out. Maybe we can break it up a little bit, and it'll stay thawed out. We're not sure, but here's here's what we're dangling with. I mean, when you talk about oh, big daddy, big daddy, okay. That's Big Daddy. That okay. that bites your face off right really? there. Really? Oh yeah. That'd be neat. That's, that's that's Big Mama right in there. And then we've got some of that. We got some beaver lure. I got some caster. Which you really? ever smelled caster? Uh no. I assume it's not good. No, you got it. Come on. Really? Is I will tell you right now. This is a smell that you'll Holy never forget. Spewed. No, I'm gonna say you're it never. Spewed. You're never gonna forget. <laughs> And you're gonna smell it again one day, and it's gonna just—it's yeah, it, weird. Gonna know exactly what you, it is. You, you're gonna smell that, and you're gonna go, "I've never smelled anything like that before." But after today, I promise you, we spend enough time at the farm running around. You drive by enough creeks, you're gonna smell it. Oh, that's—that's that's interesting. I need a whiff of that too. Does it smell or no? It kind of has like a hint of like almost like a barbecue yep, sauce. Yep. Get, get in there a little deeper. Get I in. was in there. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> It's not that bad, honestly. I thought it was gonna be worse. Yeah, that's definitely caster. That's <laughs> wait. Smell, so smell, smell the stuff I brought. This stuff yep. is it worse? Nope. All right, you go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, why do I gotta do it? Like gotta put a little bit behind your ear. <laughs> oh, oh, that's thick. <laughs> Ew, it's spicy. It is. It's like old, why is it old, spicy? It's like old spice. <laughs> How you doing? It's literally spicy. You know what it smells like? <laughs> it smells like we were using some lure. Uh, the other yeah, day, it like a little, little peppermint yeah, and it smelled like, kind of like peppermint, but yeah, mm -hmm. caster. It's I've also smelled like dirty diapers, and it has a very similar. How's that smell. go? Yeah, it smells just like. You having it. a kid soon or what? No, not yet, oh. but uh, yeah, I've smelled that once or I twice. I thought you were just practicing. But it's it's one of those smells. You you smell it, and like all of a sudden you'll be driving down the road, and you're like, beaver. You know what oh. I'm saying? <laughs> one, of, one of those things. All right, anyways, we're done talking. Let's grab our waders and get to trap setting. All right, folks, we made it out here to the dam. As you can see, oh, there's the dam. We were duck hunting down yonder, but the strat now is to uh, make a break in the dam and piss off them beavers. Oh yeah, she's flowing now, boys. Oh God, yeah. So this is where, you guys remember, I had a camera here. So this is basically putting it right in the exact same spot Buddy already had to come out and fix it. And he came out, I mean, I was remember. It that I, night? Oh yeah. yeah, it was that night and like every night for like four days. He yeah. came out and was just fixing it. So, so you're thinking one here and maybe one further down. Gotcha. So Trev J is saying like, eventually, you know, this whole thing will get low to where, you know, there's no water pouring out. But as soon as they fix one, then it raises the water level and then the other one starts leaking. So that's why you do multiple. So even if they don't get trapped on the first one and end up fixing it, the other one's gonna start and you just give yourself multiple opportunities to catch them. So 
There's your damn brake. That makes beavers mad for some. Do you actually know why beavers do this? I've heard they don't like the sound of running water. Is that true? How is something just born and is like, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. <laughs> I, that water, I'm pissed. You you better stop that water right now, mister. Maybe it makes them have to pee and they don't like it. That, that water, this is about making me have to pee. I might have yeah, to pee right now. Warm yeah. you up. It would warm me up if I pee in these way. But isn't that just crazy? Like, what are they placed on this earth and they're just like, I hate water. I hate running water. You better stop that. But like, why wouldn't they just go live on the land? Go, yeah, go live somewhere else, yeah. then, guy. Like, why do they gotta live here? I, I'm not sure what the strat is, but I tra that's how I trapped my very first beaver was on a damn break set, and it happened like the first night. And then we trapped another beaver down there, and then I trapped another beaver up there. So I think I've trapped three beavers before from here, but I haven't, I haven't trapped really. We didn't really trap it that much last year. We probably tried it a couple times. The year before that, we tried it more. So this year is the final year. We're ending this war, and then as soon as we trap all the beavers out of here, we're blowing this whole thing up. This is the biggest trap you're gonna be setting. There is no amount of money in the world that would make me no, do that. N literally, if you're like, I'll give you a grand to do that, I wouldn't do it. Okay, that no. thing would rip your hand clean off. There's no way I would do that. Uh oh, did you see your thing? Oh, you set it down. Oh, so you just set it right there. The water's gonna go down, so it won't be that deep here. Yeah. When the time comes. Tonight, tonight when Buddy pays us a visit, it's gonna be a little bit taller. So that's it. Set it there and hope he comes. I'm not to guaranteeing fix it. that he won't push it over. Yeah. But that's how he does it. All right. Well, we got one down. Go. You want to go further down that way then and break it? All right. Let's go break it again. Well, we made it to the next spot. We're not gonna break it here. We're doing what is called a caster mount set. So I kind of know what this is. So it's like th they make them to mark their territory, right? Isn't that the whole idea behind it? So if you're a beaver, you gotta mark a territory just like a dog or anything else would. What they do is, is it is it poop? Like I know it comes out from the back end. It's like a gland. Coyotes and everything have it. But they to get it on their paws. You know what I'm saying? Because when I when I clean beavers, you the it's right there, right at the exit. You know? They just do the old reach. They just they do the old reach around. Slap, I guess. Yeah, the old organic wipe. They grab it. They oh god, rip. Hey, how, how's it going over there? Deep there? Oh, God. <laughs> I fell off a cliff. Rip. <laughs> Dude, that's a huge cliff. cliff. There, don't go that way. So they just give it the old reach around, take it, and they pile up a mound of mud, and then they slap their scent on it. And then, like, sometimes you make scratch marks, right? I've seen that before. Yep. That's for caster yep. mounds. And then after you catch a beaver, they'll do all that. Yeah. 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 So you're basically, what we're doing is we're going to imitate another beaver moved in. As you can see, their house is right there. If you guys want to get a look, quick look at that, look at that house. That's that's a nice house. So there's beavers in there right now. We're gonna imitate beaver coming from the neighbor's yard, coming over here, pooping on its hand, slapping it on there, and pissing off the beaver in there. And he's gonna come over and investigate and say, who else is pooping on their hand and putting it here? And then there's gonna be a trap. That's the plan. There it is. Oh, gee, really? Wow. Is that just a straight cliff? Yeah, come on. I don't know if I want to. Just hold the stick and oh, okay, you okay. got to feel it. They, uh, so what, that's where they travel. So they're they're swimming and that's what makes it so deep, huh? Right here. Really? There's actually a tunnel right here. They find they were deep and big enough to stay in here. There's a tunnel. Right here, there's ground. Right here, no ground. Okay, all right. Oh, oh God, dude, there's a straight up. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Now kick dude. your foot this way. Dude, feel I'm not bottom. even feeling bottom. Feel yeah, I can feel the side. You got, you got to get in there, dude. That's <laughs> whack. You're gonna freak out when you feel that. Is that like, deep? That's how people can drown. Oh yeah, you I would 100 percent drown. Gone. Dude, luckily we didn't shoot any ducks over here. Full. No, but wasn't Banjo walking over here? Yeah, ba Banjo did walk over here, dude. No, serious. You're gonna freak out. Just, just, you'll, see, you'll feel it. Oh, just wait, wait. Wow. Yeah. So, so lean down and then kick your foot that way, and you'll feel the other side. See how it's a tunnel? Oh, wow. And that's where you'd put a 330. Oh, oh, Dude, it is it, all under there. isn't that crazy? Up under there. Yeah. So like, there's wow. a channel that is like, I don't know, that? I don't know how deep they it is. They take the mud out of them. They just dig they a they hole and then if you feel the very bottom, it's rock hard. Because they, they're packing oh, it down yeah. constantly. Because do they go in their house that way? Probably. Like, so there's a highway way? here that gets to their oh, house. Man. It's literally like a cliff on each side and it's probably, what do you think, like a foot and a half wide, a foot foot wide. It's big. And it's just a huge trench. Dude, if you were just walking, I'm so glad we didn't kill any ducks over here. You would just be gone. Like over your head deep. Like I couldn't even feel the bottom. They're usually 
That is crazy. Made for a 330 to sit right Yeah, in. sit right in there. Huh. So there's a trap called a 330. We've used it before. They're, it's, it's shaped like a square, and then they heat, hit like a little metal rod, and the whole thing like snaps like a mouse trap on them, which you could do if you had a stand that was five feet tall, and you could also swim. Because <laughs> otherwise, oh my God, I'd be scared as hell to walk around here <laughs> no, he's now. Got it, he's Dude, got it. that is just crazy. Well, he's also like seven feet tall, yeah, so it helps. he'll be fine. Yeah, it helps. He ain't drowning out here. Oh, he he just crossed oh, it. Oh, just said, I'm going to step right He said, I'm just going to walk right across that thing. This guy is out just of his crushes mind. crushes his eyes. <laughs> Bare hands just crushing ice. My hands will be gone. Oh, They'd yeah. Be so numb. Dude, he's going to make one step and disappear into Narnia. He's going to he's gonna fall down and swim back up. He's going to pop oh, up. You found, you found it? Dude, imagine if it was warm and you're just like... You could swim through it. And you just like pop up and like, what up, beavers? Oh, like you chilled exactly. in there with them, you know what I mean? Oh, they'd beat your ass so quick. Dude, you would get so many freaking paddles to the face with their tails. They'd it would be Banjo. He's got some big old teeth. Oh, yeah. He, he yeah. does have some chomps on him. Oh, yeah. yeah. They'd be like, oh, Cousin Ed. What up, guy? Where you, where you been, buddy? They got they got excited when he was duck hunting out here. He's like, oh, he's coming. Oh, he left again. Oh, we love you, Banjo. We're just making fun of him. But this is crazy. I, I've, never, I've never seen anything that drastic. I've seen tunnels and depressions. But this is like, this is next level stuff. So, anyways, found their highway in case you guys are curious but let's set a caster mount set and see if we can get them maybe they'll take the highway right here swim up and buddy's gonna be tough anyway. all right your bats your bed for the trap right there it's gonna be right in this general area gotcha hard bottom oh god yeah okay yeah, I usually make mine out. It's like a, uh, it's like a little cake for him. Beef cake. That's what it oh. is. A mud cake. Like, we're gonna put a little birthday candle in for him. Let them know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. Wow. So you, you go off with the, the mud. Yeah, I like it to make sure it's. Make sure it's visible, it. right? I mean, you probably can't go too big with it. Stick your hands in the water. Really? It's nice. Yeah, it isn't. <laughs> this is freezing. <laughs> so you, you, this is all flat shell, packed yep. it in, and then you're gonna set your trap. Dude, how are your hands alive right now? This is insane. You see how the trigger thing is and everything is completely different? Oh, this thing's whack. I've never used them. I don't know why I bought them. I mean, they look good when they're when they're out. That's the thing about them. So you just let, rest it right there. The old Cadillac. The old Caddy. That one ain't going nowhere. So what? there's caster and lure. What's the difference there? It's just it's a, it's a, the same. The caster's out of the beaver. Yeah. Then they blend a little food lure in there. Oh. Well, I'm assuming. So beavers. A little bit of this and that. So what do beavers eat? Uh, roots, trees. Okay. So does that smell? Nothing meat. I was no going to say, so the lure, how does it lure them? Like what, you said they, they mix it with caster whatever, or something else. Whatever that entices however, them. However it gets them excited. Yeah. Yeah, it's not sure. necessarily lure for food. It's that just, right there is what's left of the food. They ate the bark off it. See the chewings? Oh, yeah. That's what that right there. See that whole pile of stuff out there? Yeah. That's their food for the winter. Really? They, they swim under it and they can chew pieces off. That's their food. This is they have a whole village out here. It's a food they got a house. They've got a freaking whole storage unit of food. This is crazy. Beavers are I mean, they're like one of the craziest animals that you encounter. That's what, you'll see that. So that's their food. Yep. And next to their house. They cut stuff down and store it out there. It'll freeze in. They're good. Right, because they can just swim up under and eat it. These things are way smarter than me. Like I would, I would die out here in like maybe a day or two if you if you said figure it out. Even if I was able to eat bark and stuff, you know. So we're, are we you doing? I, this is you. Whatever you have the most confidence in. That one. Then let's go with that. I think I might just do a double dip. I mean, I'm always down for a double dip. I'm never against but that. This is the one I catch all my my on my casters. But. Okay, then that's what we're and going. I, with. Uh, I put a healthy dose on there. Yep. I like that. So they just smell it. And then what they do is... You can smell it, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. You. Oh, yeah. So they come up and they, you know, they plant their feet to lift up to get their nose right here. And when they plant their feet, you, can, you guys can actually probably see it now. You can see that trap. So they just put their put their paw, foot, whatever it is, to sniff it. And and that's it. I usually put my traps deep. Yep. This one's a little bit deeper because we, we know the water level is going to drop. Yep. But they're really good about their belly setting off the trap. Really? That's when you get your snap traps. Gotcha. You get a belly a lot of time. So instead of their and foot. then they're smart after that. After it snapped them once, they kind of they kind of know the strat. Yeah. 
Because I've have you ever tried to go for like a back foot catch, or is that not a thing for beavers? I usually catch them. On, I like to catch them on a the back foot because there's more foot there to hold them. Gotcha. So you would set them further yeah. back? Well, no, it's just or deeper. That's deeper. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Well, we got dam break done, caster mound done. You think that's where we should go do that next dam break? Yeah. There's a low spot. We'll show you guys. I think we're gonna put a dam break over here. So here's the slip and slide that they made. As you can see, it goes from this dam, this water here, and then it slides down to this bigger creek. Oh, they're both. They're damming a big creek. You're, you're kidding me. <laughs> They're gonna make oh, this, this all a lake. This is gonna be a giant lake. Dude, this is, now this is war, folks, okay? They're damming, the, we gotta show you this, this is a whole creek. They're damming the entire creek. So what happened here, how it expanded. You're gonna have, this is where we're saying it's gonna be another duck. Dude, low key though, if we just left it, this would be so good for duck hunting. Because this would be, this hole right here would be a big marsh. <sighs> it's tempting, but we can't let it flood the field, so we gotta make sure that we take control of this, but oh my God, look at that. Crazy, yeah, you can see there, it's like a web. It looks like almost like a duck of some kind, like a, isn't it, what, well, they got four fingers? How many do the beaver have? Is it four? <laughs> I don't, I, I just haven't seen one for a minute. You, four or five. I think it's five. Five, so it's like this, but then imagine like webbed is what like a beaver print would look like, which is what that is. It looks like you almost took your hand, like a small hand. No? What? They're not webbed. They look like a raccoon claw. Huh? The back, the back feet? feet are webbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the front feet. Oh, oh. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the back are webbed back, though, right? They are webbed. Okay, back okay. Back I'm like, I swear to God, I've seen it. Wait, so they have two, they have like regular hands yeah. and then webbed so, feet? So a beaver has webbed feet, their back, that's how they swim. Which is like, like I said, basically a hand being webbed, and then the front ones are not webbed. But and we can show that. That's what this. Should. That's what's. Yeah, when we go back, he, Trevor J's got a bunch of beavers. You guys can look at them. I'm sure we'll hopefully catch one today. But this is crazy. I thought we were dealing with one creek. They're working <laughs> on like, look how big this is. This is a huge creek. They're working on damming this whole thing up. Well, hopefully we start killing them. Let's go ahead and you want to do a dam break up there still? Yep. All right, let's break the dam. We got one more dam break out. I went into the truck, got some more traps. So we're setting three more outsides. We've set three, so six. Six would make, I feel like, pretty good odds. I feel like if we had six. Biting suckers. You what? These are biting traps. Really? Oh. The pan is heavy. <laughs> if you don't have any tension, they will. I don't think you guys at home realize, one, how much strength it takes to physically just do that. <laughs> Like, I don't even know, if, like if you could say, if you said I would never get trapped and do, I don't know if I could physically have the strength to set it, let alone have the balls to just let off and hope your hands don't get kachowed. But we're setting this one, this little tunnel mm -hmm. looking area. Where's the trap at? Right behind you. <laughs> I hope, for your sake. Just feel around for it. I did. <laughs> this guy's crazy. I, that's why I don't set traps for beavers. Like I, I'm actually comfortable with three thirties. I feel like you can pretty like if you get snapped with a three thirty, I think you're being a little irresponsible. You don't want to play with three thirties. No. I don't do that. You don't. You don't like three thirties or? I uh, I don't mess around with them. Yeah. Out here. Yeah. No, they'll get you. They'll get you. But like, I feel like it's you have there's safeties. There's things called safeties on three thirties, and as long as those are on, you're usually okay. As soon as you pop those safeties off. But I feel, I would feel safer setting a 330 than one of these. Just cause I, I got snapped by one way smaller than these. And it was just no bueno. But that's trap number four, four in the ground. We got two more to go. You wanna set this one? No, I'm all right, you got it. They have the oil on them still, so they're dangerous. Oh, nice, perfect. Oh See? God, oh God. See if your knee wasn't there, it'd have been over. Oh God, please don't hurt yourself. 
Oh my god, you're I nuts. So when you reset these tomorrow, that's fine. You know, I'll pull them. I'll just go ahead and just call it, <laughs> call it a season for the beaver. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them tomorrow. Oh, there's no way I'm resetting them. There's no way. Like I say, usually you won't pay attention on these kind of traps because the pans. The pan themselves are so heavy. Yeah, I know. I'm good. I don't think I'm. And gonna you beat. don't want them oiled like that. They're slick. They're like your wax to your water traps, but they'll work. We got it. They are uh, hair trigger ready to go. Yeah, I mean, if a beaver sneezes on them, they're toast basically, <laughs> which is good. So. Or a So that's six. You may I, I counted there. wrong. I went out and got the last of the trap. So that's, is that six now? Yeah. Six, and we got one more? One more. One more. Well, folks, before we set the last trap here, okay, we've got to break this dam. This is, this is like a real dam here. Blowing up the whole creek here. So we've got to, we're going to just break this for fun. We're not putting any traps out, but it'll get the beavers fired up. Whee! It's not a break. It's honestly not very big. There. All right, so here's the dam. This is the Big Mama Creek. This is crazy. This was not here last year at all. There's no signs of beavers on this. All right, let's take it out. Oh, yeah. Oh god, yeah. Oh god, it's gonna sweep you down the stream. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Take that, beavers. Woo! Put your pants. Hands are feeling good. Oh, you're getting in there now. Oh, yeah. Mm. You're getting after it. That is so much water. No. Like, that is so much water. Rip whoever's downstream their house might get flooded. I'm just kidding. Like for them just to come in here and just say, we're gonna just plug this whole river up. I mean, it has some good flow to yeah. slow down. And yeah, I know, like how do you even get it started? Like you put a piece of mud there and it's just gonna take it. Like there's actual current. This is crazy. It looks like a freaking river now. Wow. Well, this is gonna, they're gonna be pissed. They might be working on this tonight. Which, what, what do you think they would w rather work on first? Those damn breaks or these ones? I think you're gonna have the beavers that are in the huts moving around and then everything coming along. Any, any local ones right here? I bet they go up there. Because they don't want the water running by their house. First and foremost, this is kind of like a secondary. You know, they're just bored. So they're just building dams out here because they're freaking bored. Yeah, this ain't gonna dry up. That will dry up. No, yeah, this will never, this would never dry up. There's no issues with this one. Anyways, let's go set the last <laughs> trap up. I just do this backwards, I did. That's weird. God dang it. <laughs> At any moment, you're gonna watch somebody's hand just get completely chopped off. There she be. So you know what's cool? These suckers are gonna be alive. I've never had a live beaver. They, I always trap them in 330s or a drowning rod, which a drowning rod is basically the same s strat as this, but the freaking rods, what are they, six feet long? 10, eight, eight to 10. So what it, they do is they start swimming out to the creek and it's like, uh, it's kind of like a barb on a hook. It goes in one way easy and not out. So it, it goes down easy, but it won't go back up. So basically it just, it drowns the beavers. But I have never caught a beaver that's been alive. I've done 330s, which instantly kills them or a drowning rod. So I'm actually excited to see them because are they they pretty i bet they're not very nice are they they're pretty, they're pretty, they're pretty mean they're like muskrats are a little feisty guys badgers are pretty mean too which we've, we've dealt with those guys but that's it trap number seven out this whole place is littered with them we'll see you guys tomorrow all right, folks it's the next day early in the morning we woke up and headed down to the farm to check these freaking beaver traps you know what i'm saying that's what i'm saying beaver well that actually works pretty good for a little punching bag you see what i'm saying huh this thing God, I'm getting covered. Anyways, I, I thought like I was gonna hit it, it was gonna explode, uh, but it came back like a little like speed bag. It was kind of cool for like uh, boxing or whatever. Anyways, I'm distracted. What if you ate one? You go ahead. I'm okay, but like, what do you think would happen? A tree would gr grow on you, I think. Oh, really? Your stomach would knit a sweater, I think. Oh, that's nifty. So isn't that what is that cotton? That ain't cotton. That ain't cotton. I don't know no, what that, that is. It. Anyways, we are out here. I'm gonna throw some waders on. Take a pew with us because they might be alive. More than likely, they're gonna be alive. We didn't do any drowner sets, which is cool because I've never seen I've never seen a beaver alive in person. So, anyways, we're gonna throw the waders on and see if we got anything in our traps. We had seven of them out here. Two damn break. <sighs> Hoping for the best. I can't see anything yet, but it, it does it not look like something busted that. It definitely right where is the trap open, is. Yeah. I can hear it still flowing. Oh, it's, I can see it. it's still flowing. So I'm not walking up on it yet, but. Where we put the trap, there's a big open hole and there's ice thrown up on the ice, meaning something would have had to splash around. There might be beaver up here. Uh-oh, nothing. See, you guys can see the trap. Nothing even tried fixing it. I thought I'd see that ice up on the ice. I thought that was like something splashing. Weird. See, that trap's sitting kind of high now because the water's continued, so the only thing it might be is we might have trapped him before they got to this. Let's go check the rest. Nothing. That one's frozen, frozen. Rip. This thing iced up real good. Trap's frozen right there. They're not even gonna mess with it when it's frozen like this. Rip. Uh-oh. Trap went off here. This trap got set off. Well, something messed with it, but it doesn't necessarily mean a beaver got it. Maybe a stick flew in it or, or floated in it. I'm gonna go check the rest of them before we reset it. 
Nothing. It froze. I think that's our problem. It froze up. Where, what were they doing? Were they sleeping? At least we have a couple more to check. Nothing's fixed. They didn't fix any of the dams. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. It's like they're not here. They didn't fix anything. That's not good. Maybe they're sleeping still. Kind of want to just go knock on their door and see what's up. See if any of them are hanging out in there. We had one trap set off out of all of them. I guess I didn't check this one, but I'm pretty sure this one didn't get set off. No, that one's dry. So that's the problem. Like they didn't fix it soon enough, so now all of our traps are out of the water. That's the delay. Like, look at this guy. That ain't do you much good, does it? They never fixed the dam break, the original dam break. So all of our other sets got basically ruined because the water level dropped too far. It sucks knowing that they're right there, you know? They're just hanging out. Well, 0 for 7. We'll reset a couple of these and come back tomorrow. Alrighty folks, it's the next day. We are here to check them beaver traps once again. Um, we actually came out and set some more out with Trapper J. 330s and some drowning since we didn't show them just because we've already shown so much trap setting in, in today's episode. But we're gonna run over there. Trapper J's meeting us here in a minute. Um, we're not even gonna put waders on. We're just gonna go run out there and see if we can, how many of the traps we can see without putting waders on. And that way we can tell, like if we have one right away, then we can just dispatch it and get on and reset them and do all that fun stuff before we have to actually go put waders on. And you're strapped. These beavers better not act up. Yeah, the old six shooter. Let them know what's up. He's he's ready. That's right. So we've got now a total of like 12 traps I'm out here. Doubled down on it, and it's a little warmer today. I think the water might have opened up some more. Really hoping for this beaver. We gotta get gotta get a beaver down on the ground. I need to eat some beaver. Ty's been craving beaver. It's time to kill these beavers. All right, going to the, dude. They didn't fi they didn't fix it. What did they move out? They might have left. They left town. They knew they knew Papa was here. Look at that. Nothing. That means our other traps are probably screwed too, because there's even more water running crazy they didn't try plugging this up at all that's so odd because last time we we went and busted it open they came out that don't step there in case yeah. you're curious yeah i don't have much faith in the knees other traps now to be honest because now the water is even lower well let's see if we get anything this one's set off it's set off yeah really i think it's got a stick in it though Oh my god, you got him! We got him. Woo! I was not expecting that, dude. He's huge. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yes. Woo oh, buddy. Oh, snap. What up, Junior? Oh, he's pissed. Wow. Oh, yeah. Much better now. Oh my god. Look at that guy. Rip. Not a good day for Beaver, but it's a good day for us. That's a dub. Wow. He hasn't been in there that long. No, he's, I said that's he's so fresh. Him. Good job, dude. Hell yeah. Got him down. That, they made, he made you work for that one. He did. That was a lot of work. Do, like literally a dozen traps. Big old mamma jamma. Perfect catch. Woo! Yeah, right in the head too. Look at that, you see these chomps on this guy? Goodness, Bud needs to see the dentist. Look at that side. Oh God, yeah. So you don't, there's probably not as many as you were thinking, huh? Otherwise, there's you think a we lot of sign, but I walk the creek both ways. Yeah, and there's it's just not as no bank dance. So yeah, it's just this, these guys are cruising. It's, it's whatever, so basically in this hut. So I'm sure there's more than one, but for the amount of traps that we had set out, it, they, this guy really made us work for it. Mm -hmm. But we'll take it. This is where the I was gonna show you the the paws. Look at that. So there's five fingers in their web. So when you're seeing the tracks, you're seeing the bottom side. Kind of, it's almost like a duck. It's close, bigger. And then the front ones are more like a raccoon. Looks like a little human hand. Like literally, they got little fingers, little thumbs and fingers. It's just like a human, little claws. But these are their swimmers. They got their paddle. We did it. Beaver is now for dinner. You excited? Sure. I love eating beaver. Welcome back, folks. We are here in the evening. Trapper Jay abandoned us. He said, you guys go eat your beaver on your own. I'm gonna eat my beaver on my own. It's basically what he told us. But his channel will actually be linked down below if you guys want to check it out. He's a fellow trapper. That's pretty much what he does. He traps. If you guys are into the trapping stuff, he's like the best at it. Like he catches more. I think it's like this 34th beaver or something like that. But here's the meat. Well, some of the meat. As you can see, we've got a back strap here. That's it. That's one side. So there's two of them. This was some chunk leg meat that we took off of it. The rest we're saving. We didn't want to go too crazy. A lot of the time when we prepare a full meal, it's way too much meat and we all can't eat it. It's just it's just pool jet knife. Banjo, he dipped. So we are just going to, I mean, this is still a lot of meat for, for pool jet knife, but we want to save beaver that way we can eat it again you know for later on videos or whatever you guys want so this is the leg meat though so we just chunked it right off the leg we're gonna throw it in just like this leave some of that fat on there so what we're doing is a pot roast recipe okay so we've got some potatoes onions we got all meat seasoning carrots wine olive oil beef bouillon or something 
Boo better than boolean, boolean, roast beef paste, uh, Worcestershire sauce, minced garlic, and then we have an Instapot pressure cooker. So it's supposed to only take like 35 minutes, but pot roast, everybody loves pot roast. This is like the close, I always tell pe people beaver is the closest thing to beef, and this would be a pretty like raw way to eat it in a way of like where it's not gonna have, it's you know, it's just gonna have the, the flavors of the vegetables with it. Otherwise it's just, it's it on its own. We're not gonna over season it or nothing. So we're gonna go one back strap, one back leg chunked. Um, so actually we'll just, we'll just cut this in half. So you can leave the chunk, you can leave it fairly chunky because it should hopefully get tender. If it's not, we'll have to cut it later. This one I'll probably go, I'll cut it three times. So I'll cut it, or twice, but into three pieces. So cut it like this, and then maybe I'll cut it like that. You think that's good or do you think that's too big? No, I think it'll be all right. You think that's all right? You could always cut it up later. Because what did the recipe say? Chunks? Like what did they say? Four, three to four? Four to six chunks. But it was like four it was pounds. like four pounds. So this would probably yeah. be about right. So then what we're going to do, lay the meat out. We're going to use some ducks all meat seasoning. If you guys want it, it'll be linked down below. And we're going to go ahead and just season both sides. Pack it in there. Give it the old flip. Pack it in there. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Season this side. Just just like that. All right, wipe it up, and I'm just gonna throw it in a bowl. I'm gonna throw everything in a bowl, and then we're gonna dump it into the Instapot and let it do its thing. So it's seasoned, it's ready, throws in there, let that sit. That's the first thing you do. Now the next thing is what? What do we have to do next? Uh, All right, so um, Instapot. Easy guy. I mean, I can just, I can just do this. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Like, came up. Okay, so now what's what's the first step? Pull jets uh, on camera slash tell me what to put into. We're cutting it in all our ingredients in half. Yeah, right? let's cut it and cut the ingredients in half. Yep. Okay, so one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Here's what you do: you take a half and then you do three times. One, two, three. There you go. Okay. And then a half cup of diced onion. You have to cry Woo! for a minute. You gotta feel this. How do you cut an onion? You start doing it. I really don't. I, I don't mess with onions much. What was it? Half a cup? Half a cup. Yeah. Of, of chopped, minced. Yeah. Of diced. diced. Yeah. Who do they think I am? Gordon Ramsay. Diced. That's right. You, I, you gotta take this thing off, right? This yeah, is... I wouldn't eat the peel though. I have a plan. Okay, bear yeah. with bear with me here. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I'm crying, Rip. Oh, Rip. I'm just losing it. God dang it. You got me good on that one. And go. This is, this is cringy, huh? I mean, it's not bad. Dude, my eyes are on fire. Really? Don't you chew gum or something that helps? Huh? I'm trying to imitate, dude, my eyes are just getting. I it. think that's to help your ears pop on the airplane. I swear if you chew gum, dude, yeah. God. I've dude, never heard that. Dude, they're getting it right now. This is incredible. I swear, if you chew gum, I think I heard. I've never heard that one. Maybe it's true. I'm not saying you're wrong. Good. Half? Oh, God. Yeah, half. Uh, you need one and a half teaspoons of minced garlic. Minced garlic. You got it. Okay, we got minced garlic. One and a half teaspoons. Yep, so three of those. Two. Three. Now you need a quarter cup of red wine. Ooh, we're getting freaking drunk. That's right. Pop the bottle. Oh, you got it. That's not how you do wine. No, 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 champagne. no, no, no. Eww, I hate wine. What is it, quarter cup? Yeah. Right, just we're just eyeballing it. Yeah, it's about half of that. Sure. A little extra wine ain't gonna hurt nobody. Okay, now what? One cup of beef broth. So now we have to make this concoction. Oh, crap. Okay, so a cup of water and a one teaspoon. This is the, this is just the weirdest. Why don't you just buy regular beef broth? I don't know. You didn't buy, you're telling me you didn't buy this. No, I did not buy this. I don't know what this is. Like, if I ever saw this, I would think it's like, ew, it kind of smells nasty, too. Looks like the trap bait. It does look like trap bait. I bet the raccoons would like this. All right, so add your water. Is it warm water or is it cold water? Uh, I, I don't added. think it's said. So. Then take your whisk, I'm guessing, right? Sure. I feel like this is not the deal, but maybe it's, right it's just broth, right? Here's your broth. Goes in? Yep. Broth is going in. And now... A half of a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. That's a little thistle guy here. Got it. Now we're getting to the old carrots. Woo! Carrots. So how, however many baby carrots you want. Looking at my meat, meat to carrot ratio here. That's a lot of carrots. Nah, nah, nah. That's yeah, that's a lot of carrots. That's fine. And then and the potatoes. Sure. But you probably want to have these, or do you want to cook them? Uh, all? It doesn't say. So that's up to you. Personal preference. Have them. You probably just cut them in half. Yeah, cut them, that's in, fine. Cut, cut them in half. All right. So these are a little. What are these things? Baby reds. Wash them. Nah. You cook all that bacteria. In, in that hot stuff, you cook the fine. cook the bacteria, boys. Build up your immune system, baby. Potatoes. I'm looking at the ratio here. It's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. 
I'll, go, I'll, do it. I'll get some more. I love, my, I love me some potatoes. Okay, potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. There you go, that's what she looks like. Now that's what? Good. That's it, throw it in the old pot. Really, and it, with the yep. meat? Yep. So I can mix now. For 35 minutes, yeah. So that's it? Sure. Really? Yeah, 35 minutes. Pot roast, beaver pot roast. So, throw it in here, twist the cap. See, that's what I'm saying, it's on. Maybe give it a minute and it'll like show the timer. We can. All right, well. Well, it's, it, it's 4.30 right <laughs> now. Can you not? Can you just relax for two seconds? Okay, it's in, okay, we'll figure it out later. 35 minutes, we'll see you guys in a bit. Ooh, oh snap. Dude, does that not look like normal pot roast? It actually looks really good. Yeah, it does. Well, beaver's done. It smells good too. I didn't know pot roast was so freaking easy. Even I can make that. So we're gonna let that cool off. Maybe I'll maybe give it a stir and let the meat kind of mix in there a little bit. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. It just, just fall apart. Yes. Yes, it did. Oh, wow. I For some reason, I had low expectations I thought on it, this. Dude, this is... Oh, this is easy, yeah. All right, I'm gonna mix it up, and then we're gonna make a gravy. I think the gravy's gonna be... The gravy's gonna be pretty good. Mel, you settle down. Beavers are just falling apart. That's crazy. All right. We're gonna leave that there. Let it cool off. Let's make some gravy. All right. One cup of water going in there. Mixed with this. This is turkey gravy. Now, this isn't what they called for, but it'll work. You just put it on top of there. So, stir water gradually into gravy mix with a whisk into a small saucepan. Frequently cook medium heat until gravy comes to a boil. Reduce the heat and simmer for one minute. Let's do it. Making gravy. It's exciting. All right, gravy going in the bowl. Now, I didn't have to make gravy, but it called for gravy, but this is this is just turkey gravy. So, it'll give us something that we can dunk it in, but like I think I, ideally you just, you take the juices and then turn that into a gravy. So this is like a legit gravy gravy, and that's more of just like a sauce-ish gravy. Anyways, gravy is done, meat's done. Let's stick this meat in our mouth. All right, here we go. Serving up beaver pot roast, folks. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's a good ratio there. We're gonna get a little bit more meat in there. That's what everybody's here for. A few more meat, potato, oh yeah. Mm-hmm, what do you think about it? It looks good. It does look good. Way better than I was expecting, smells, honestly. Smells I wasn't sure what too. I was gonna expect. All right, well, here we go. I'm going just raw meat. Not raw, but plain. Dude, look at this, how it cuts, look at this. Look at that. That's good meat right there. Look at that beaver. It's a little chewy. Really? But there's no way anyone on this planet would be able to tell you that that's beaver. It tastes just like beef. Hmm. Just like it. Not even a question. I'm gonna go in for a second bite. What I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna give it some au jus and then we'll go gravy. I'm going still plain meat here. I right, better. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So juices really make it? Mm -hmm. Not as chewy and dry. Now, before I say anything, I'm not gonna say too much. You get in there and you let me know what you think. You're not getting a little carrot action? If you want a carrot, you go for a carrot, my friend. I'll no one, no one's, no one's stopping you from eating that carrot. That's a mushy carrot. That's yeah, mushy. I hot carrot. <laughs> Do you like just cooked carrots like that? E. I, 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 I don't like cooked carrots like that. No, I, no. I, I like potatoes. Get some of that meat. Yeah, give, gonna, give, give it a dunk. Juice it up yeah. a little bit here. Oh. oh yeah. Oh god, that's a big piece, huh? Oh god, yeah. That's a lot of meat for your mouth. A steamy one, huh? What would you think? Would you be able to tell that that's not beef? Like if somebody, if you, if you no. had that at a family dinner, would you even think twice? I feel it wasn't that chewy. It, your piece wasn't too bad? No. No. It was pretty good though. What do you think about the flavor? Do you think it's pretty much the same as like a normal pot roast? I would think you gave me beef. I would think yeah. so. Like there's, there's nothing. Like this is, I always say that. Everyone always asks me what's, what's your favorite, what it tastes, beaver. It tastes like beef. That is a large potato. Hey, you cut them like this. Yeah, I know. I did cut it. Well, you're, you can cut them still. You don't have to eat it all whole, you know? Where's the fun in that? You, go ahead. Yeah, you don't like potatoes. No, you don't get a potato. You want beaver? Why you, yeah, just lay down. Look. Be, hang out like the other dog. Getting it? That's hot, dude. I don't know why you did that. That's a steamy potato right there, son. Hot. Yeah, you're done. You done goofed. You got a fat potato in your mouth. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> that was a big mistake. In case you're curious, there's a WWE match going on down here. Just hanging out. No, you, come on. You got. No, you can't do it. You can't. <laughs> he's dying. He's dying over here. All right. Well, he's dying. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this fat piece of beaver in my mouth. Oh, that gravy on there, son. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, that go. Still working on it. <laughs> hey, you do that to yourself, guy. Oh, I didn't even tell you to do that. That was aggressive. Really? Was Your piece ain't chewy? <laughs> no. It's not chewy, it just... Well, I mean, yeah, it's chewy, yeah. Mine was fine. Really? The deal is, yeah. <clears throat> well, what do you think? Out of all the wild game we've had... That was pretty good. I'd say that's probably I the, this the, one was the best one so far. Yeah, it's the, it's the least wild game tasting. Like duck, you have to. We didn't hardly. We all we did is all meat. Yeah. That's it. Like that is straight up beaver meat flavor. If and that you, was you duck, season it afterwards too. That's true. Wanted, that's true. If that was duck, you would have yacked. Oh yeah. Like if that was goose, yak. Mm -hmm. Deer, hey, beaver, okay. raccoon, mm -hmm. eh. beaver is the way to go. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That was our simple beaver pot roast. You guys are ambitious enough to go trap a beaver. Don't just throw it in the ditch or give it to a buddy. Cook that meat, son. A lot of people don't realize beaver is delicious. You saw how big and succulent those back straps are. Super easy, 35 minutes in a Instapot. Throw in some potatoes and some carrots, some other stuff, and it tastes absolutely delicious. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, go subscribe to Trapper J. It'll be linked down below. Check him out. Huge shout out Trapper J. He helped us. If it wasn't for him, there's no way we would have caught that beaver because he was physically standing in water that would have gone over my waders and I would not have gone over there, and that's where he caught the beaver. So, huge shout out Trapper J. Thank you guys so much for it. In peace.